What is going on, folks? Antoine, Core Cutter Lifestyle and Tape, back at you with another Wizcam video. Um, as I said before in my previous video, uh, people were saying that they couldn't get it to work with their um, first gen or Fire Stick in general. So um, I actually found out a way to do it. So um, and it wasn't that hard. Uh, what you're gonna need is a IP. Um, some type of IP software you can download it from the Amazon Play Store um, this one right here the tiny cam monitor pro uh, was 399 or 399 of the, the, the wherever they call them the bucks some type of bucks it's 399 and then you have the free version of an IP camera view now both of these um, apps have over 600 reviews so I went with the the version you have to pay for because I just trust it more. So um, what you're gonna need is that, and then if you want to export the um, the clip, you could get a cloud storage. But if you're not into the whole cloud storage thing, you can have it record directly onto your Fire Stick, and then use some type of file manager app to export it. So you're gonna need the ES file explorer file manager you're gonna need some type of IP camera app so once you get it um, just like when you connecting it to any type of other Amazon device you're gonna to have to enter your password in your username so as you can see this is my camera right here and it actually works great and with this you can actually record so if we go over here you see right there you can record it now this uses the uh, internal memory of your fire stick so the the videos you record on here won't be available or they will not be available through the Wiz app on your smartphone totally separate recorders totally separate recordings so you see we're recording this clip of the um, outside I got my camera sitting in the window so you can stop it um, just like the the app on your smartphone you can set up the motion sensor you can set up the sound sensor you can do exactly what you want to do so um, just to take you guys let's go over here to the to the recordings and it's, it's a lot of stuff you might want to get into but I just kept mine regular I kept mine as as the uh, internal default um, now if you want to delete your recordings you could just go here to to delete archive It's going to delete it for you you have to watch dog settings your security settings your cloud account now if you have a um, tiny cam cloud account you can um, link it to that you can link it to your Windows cloud account you can link it to let's see um, your Amazon Amazon Drive Microsoft OneDrive and your one cloud account uh, different accounts you can link into so that's cool if you already have one of those accounts you, you know you just go ahead and link it to them accounts um, you can allow web server remote access let's go back in here uh, let's go back up to a camera manage camera so your initial setup it's gonna look like this you wanna name your camera I just left mine as cam one select your name brand now they have tons of brands on here and of course I selected my brand which is the Wiz Labs but it goes from A to Z Linksys, Lunadix, Lunix um, select your camera model Mine's just the regular Wiz cam without the pan. Um, the cloud protocol, I cannot change that, but I don't know if they're recording to the cloud, but um, I am. it is stored on my um, Fire Stick as well. So you can change your motion detection settings, auto detection, change the levels, pretty much whatever you can do on the app, you can do on here. And you don't need to have the SD card slot in the camera to use this to use it like this because it's using the memory of the fire stick alright so as you can see we just recorded the clip so 
to get to your clips you see at the bottom right here so you have to play select on the play button you got a couple recordings here this is the one we just recorded now for here on the top right corner of the screen from this menu or from this portion of the screen you cannot access the pictures or the share at least I haven't found a way to access but if you hit the menu button on your Amazon remote you are able to delete you can't go over and share or anything like that from this screen so let's say you recorded something you caught it you need to um, send it to somebody so that's when we're going to go to the ES file manager app now you want to make sure you have this ES file manager app on whatever device you want to transport or transfer your um, your footage to. Now with the Fire Stick in particular, what you have to do is let's see if I go back. You want to go down to internal storage right there. Then you're just going to find the um, Tiny Cam right there I got the pro version um, go to your recordings go down to now with this whole interface sometimes it can be hard to just go down so you might find it easier to go over here and then hop over because sometimes it'll it'll miss it and it'll just skip right down there so you want to go into that and <clears throat> same thing with this if it if it if you up here and it skips past the videos just go over to the side all right, so from here, just select the video. Now, once you select on the video, then you're going to hit your menu button and go down to share. Now, make sure your device, whether it be a cell phone or tablet, with the ES File Manager app on it and the Fire Stick are on the same network. Um, let's see. It's one of these that I select on. Okay. Choose path. We're not going to do that. So Now this is the way I did it. I went to send by LAN. Now that's the device that's on the network. And it's actually the cell phone that I'm recording with. Not right now. So once you select your particular thing particular file now look at the top and look at the bottom now you know when that's deselected you know that you're selected on there because you can you can barely tell if it's selected you see where it says select all now that tells you that nothing is selected so you want to select on that and then go over here to send And ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Um, the ES save to, I believe it just saves to another location on the ES file manager. Um, and if you guys have any questions about it, hit me up. Um, I'm in kind of streamlining the content for this. It's a very interesting product. Only costs 25 bucks. Um, I feel like I got my money's worth. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it seems like it's 100% free. I don't have to pay for um, cloud storage or to maintain the camera. You know, I just purchased it. And different ways I can access this uh, particular IP camera, the Wiz Cam. Um, great device so far. Um, thinking about getting another one to see how the um, how they how they interact with each other and how different devices uh, register um, more than one camera at one time. So. That's it, folks. Uh, if you enjoy the content, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy, if you um, learn something, also hit that subscribe button or just hit the like button. Um, and I will talk to you guys next time.